report to be made from Cos Geocosmos. It will be made by Tatiana Dedova, head of the Department of uh, Surveying and Cartography, Geodesy and Cartography. Hello, dear participants of the conference. I have been introduced. I would like to share with you our experience. This will be a follow-up to the previous uh, presentation, experience of creating digital topographic maps of industrial area-based territories. As Ristem told you, our company is well experienced in working with uh, leading Kazakh uh, companies. They include, include Kazmuni, I guess, Kazmuna, I guess, and others. So I would like to share with you the results of our cooperation. Overall, creation of topographic uh, maps and plans can be described in, uh, as having several stages. First, we do geodetic control network survey, carry out aerial survey, followed by photogrammetric processing, followed then by field topographic uh, interpretation and the uh, creation of digital uh, plans. <coughs> so I will elaborate now on each of these stages. Geodetic control network uh, survey includes, uh, uh, first of all, the location of a, of a um, grid located within this area. Then we put in and mark ground control points and checkpoints. And then uh, we uh, use uh, GPS uh, coordination and regular leveling of the third or fourth classes uh, for height uh, orientation. Originally, we look at minimums of daily records and adjust it. If uh, necessary, we change coordinates to the local required framework. This slide shows uh, one of the examples of the networks generated and the time of uh, measurements. I will not elaborate on uh, aerial survey except to say that the available equipment is sufficient to perform all stages of aerial survey in order to deliver all major regulations, to deliver compliance with all major regulations of Kazakhstan. After that, uh, we have uh, the full cycle of photogrammetric processing, uh, which was uh, provided to you in full detail by my colleague before me. What I would like to do now is uh, to tell you about uh, digital mapping. This all begins at the time when digital elevation model is being created. Those uh, brake lines that are drawn by uh, Photomod, uh, both artificial and uh, natural, are then converted into shape files and imported uh, in the respective layers of um, geodata. The next stage is field topographic interpretation. Uh, we study the terrain using available aerial survey materials. Typically, we carry out field uh, interpretation and all the necessary attributes are put onto or plotted on map boards uh, of the proper uh, scale maps. Our field interpreters take an aerial photo, go to the site, take pictures, and record all the necessary attributive uh, data needed to create uh, a topographic map. This is an example of uh, a piece of interpretation where we can see the attributes that uh, will then be printed out on the map. The final creation of large format maps 
is done using ArcGIS uh, program based on ortho photo plan. Vectoral data typically consists of uh, certain layers that you can see on the slide, but depending on what the customer wishes, the structure can be amended as need be. In particular, we use attributive uh, domains that can be added or changed depending on uh, a specific area. The digital process itself uh, follows uh, the map board data, uh, layers and uh, tags of the work tool or work kit are provided with a special legend, special sign adopted in Kazakhstan. Uh, all the contour lines are loaded uh, into the uh, geo database. In order to better represent the surface, an algorithm has been developed to compute the location and uh, slope of bare contours. This is done using ArcTool box, which uh, gives us uh, the direction and uh, the direction of slopes. Next stage is quality check or quality assurance, which includes several stages. Of course, we utilize the full suite of ArcGIS to verify topology and topological ties of our sites. I would like to give you some uh, examples, case studies. This is a, a map of a mining site. This is Anyansk mine near near this site. Uh, you can see uh, landfills. Uh, next picture is a Dunga deposit owned by Myersk Oil Kazakhstan. And as mentioned earlier, we have uranium deposits as well, owned by Katka company. In case bilingual uh, versions are necessary, we duplicate a uh, database where attributes are uh, duplicated in a respective language and the work set is also uh, duplicated uh, in the required language of choice. If the customer needs, uh, wishes so, uh, we convert uh, vector data into AutoCAD or Map Info formats and we can do raster, raster um, representation or conversion if necessary. That is all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any questions? This final product, uh, the final product is also done by ArcGIS. I mean the beyond frame uh, design. Yes, we do this using ArcGIS. It's all done using ArcGIS. It, it used to be called uh, Mark Book or Map Book. But now this is done uh, automatically for each sheet. If there are no further questions, thank you very much. And we now move to the